Hi children, hope you all are doing good. I'm Sarjan, your maths teacher. And today, we are going to learn about measure. This is your third chapter. And I have highlighted today's subtopic that is mass. Today we are going to deal with this topic. I've selected only one topic because it's a very huge topic and many things is there to learn. Okay. This topic is all about converting kilogram into gram or converting gram into kilogram. Okay. While converting, sometimes we multiply by 1000 and sometimes we divide by 1000. Now, the question is when to multiply by 1000 and when to divide by 1000 and why by 1000? Why not by any other numbers? This kind of doubt you have to clear it. So I am going to clear out all this doubt. To clarify all this doubt, let's have some fun. Because math is fun, right? Okay. Let's think. Just example, okay? Let's think your dad has his own hospital at Kohima. Okay? Your dad has, has his own hospital at Kohima. He's running there. His own hospital. And you are here at Dimapur. Now, during a weekend, you want to visit your dad's hospital. And you did it. You have reached here by your car. Wow. Now, after reaching there, you'd like to write one, one sentence about your journey. And you wrote in this way, say like, my car drops me that hospital at Kohima. I'll repeat again. My car dropped me that's hospital at Kohima. Let me, put, let me write down. You look here carefully. My car dropped me that hospital Okay? I want you to buy half this. My car drops me dad's hospital at Kohima. Buy half this. It's going to help you out. Is it clear? Okay. Always remember this one sentence which you have met. My car drops me dad's hospital at Kohima. Now let's use this sentence and see what happens. Okay, now read out all this one by one. My car drop me that hospital at Kohima. We don't write that everywhere you know. It is done. Okay? My car drops me that hospital at Kohima. Again. Tell after me. My car drops me that hospital at Kohima. One last one more. Come on. My car drops me that hospital at Kohim. Done? Okay. Now, I'll fill up with M, 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 M is already there. M, 
m m millimeter centimeter decimeter meter decameter hectometer and kilometer is that clear now between each unit there is a division of 10 10 10 10 10 10 you can take your ruler scale and you just see from zero you count there is a small small line given on your scale right that is millimeter you just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then it becomes one centimeter you can check out right now that means 10 millimeter max one centimeter every number between every number there is a division of 10 10 10 on there you can count it that is the reason i put all everywhere 10 10 10 10 10 is that clear now remember always this when it's going down means when it go in this way down always divide okay and when it goes up this way when it goes up always multiply understood okay go ahead now we wrote m m m m right now in m plus let us write g m plus i will 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 write g what this m is doing here clear m plus i will write g g g milligram centigram decigram gram decagram hectogram kilogram now same the method is same here just have a look division is 10 you all know 10 10 10 10 10 10 okay now when it comes down what will happen you need to divide when it goes up you need to multiply same done now last let us in m place let us fill up by l okay m place i'll write l m plus l m plus l this m plus l l l l milliliter centiliter deciliter liter decaliter hectoliter kiloliter same 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 when it comes down you need to divide when it goes up you need to multiply done so many things comes out very easily just with this one sentence which you have created okay my car drops me that's hospital at Kohima remember that you can get all this same to same formula okay now when you are measuring a length length of the room your table your bed when you are measuring, you use these units. Meter. Clear? And when you are measuring mass, our topic, when you are measuring mass, mass in the sense like a, we will usually say, what is the weight of this duster? Actually, when we look deep into maths, the definition of mass and weight are not exactly the same. When you go to higher class, you will get to know this, okay? Just like for in place of weight, we are using mass. Now, I will not say, what is the weight of this duster? I will not say. Now, I will say, what is the mass of this duster? Hmm. The mass of this duster might be... 20 gram, 30 gram, see it's coming in the gram. Like the the mass of this white ball, maybe like 5 kg, 8 kg, 10 kg. So 
whenever you are me like measuring mass, we use this. Understood? Whenever you are measuring length, we use this. Whenever you are measuring mass of any like solid things, use this. Now, what about this? Whenever you are measuring like anything that is like uh, in a liquid type, say water, petrol, diesel, cold drinks, milk, etc. We use this. Okay? And the rule is that when it's going down, divide it. When it goes up, multiply. Same everywhere. Is that clear? Now, your question number one, I'll just give you the concept. I'll clear the concept I mean for that. Your question number one is something like one. Waking scale is here, right? And there you will see something here, one. Here also. And this side there is even like that. Is that clear? You can see in your textbook, okay? Here they wrote zero kg. Okay? Here they wrote zero point five kg. And this one is one kg. This one one point five kg. This looks like cloth, right? Okay. Now again they have given some they have divided into four parts I guess. One, two, three, four. They do uh, they in five parts. One, two, three, four, five. So here also said one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Is there in your textbook? Do not get any confused like that. Now, all are in kg. Can you see that? But your question asks you, like, write down the mass, mass of each parcel in gram. In gram, you have to write the answer in gram, not in kg. But they are in kg. You just clarify, like, first you convert this 0 0.5 kg into gram. That's it. Let me go here. 0 0.5 kg is equal to how many gram? Now <clears throat> you forgot. Very quickly you go to your rough column side and just remember the sentence that you have learned. My car dropped me that hospital at Kohima. Correct? Now since they are, they are talking about KG, G, G is there. So you write here G, G, G. In M place you have to write G. M place you have to write G. You know that. The division of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. If it's coming down, divide it. If it's going up, multiply it. Done? Okay. Now you are going to change KG into what? Gram. You are going to change into gram. So where is kg? It's here. Now this kg is going to change into gram. Now search where is gram. Kg is here. Okay, fine. Can you see gram here? Now this kg is going to become gram. To become gram, I have to go down. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I have to go up. Then only I will reach in gram place. If I go down, I get nothing. I have to go up. And you know when you go up, what will, what you need to do? Multiply. That's it. Okay. First, you write this number. 0 0.5 is just right here. Done. Since it's going up, you need to multiply. That is the reason. Multiply sign is here. Okay. Multiply by now. You have to observe only kg and gram. Okay. The rest is just ignore for some time. So kg you cover always. And till gram 
how many zeros are there? Still gram. One zero, two zero, three zero. Are you agree with me? One zero, two zero, three zero. Then only this become now gram. See? We multiply by one thousand. I told you sometimes we multiply by one thousand, sometimes we divide by one one thousand. All these because of these rules. Okay? Now Many students are again getting confused to multiply 0 0.5 into 1000. Do not get confused, my dear. We just have a look here. For a timing thing, there are no zeros. This makes it easy. Math is fun. Just play and learn. There is no zero. Oh, only one. Okay? Now some are scared of this. Zero point thing, there is no zero, no point. It's not very really easy. Can you multiply? Five times one. Five ones are five. You got an answer here. Five. Simple? Yes. We cannot just avoid the zeros and decimal. Then what should we do? That's good. How many zero was there? One, two, three. That three zero bring down to your answer. One, two, three. Do you agree with me? One more thing we are missing out. That is decimal. Now you put. Now think one thing. After decimal, how many digit is there? Only one. Is it clear? After decimal, how many digits are here? One, two, three digits. After decimal, how many digits are, how many digits is there? Only one. That means only one digit you check and then give that decimal here. Is that clear? Now in this case, what do we Like, mm, shut up. Look here. One, two, three decimal. One, two, three decimal. See? One decimal. One decimal. Simple, right? Okay, now. Okay. Now, what number is this? Is it 5,000? I don't think it's it. And remember one thing, children. After decimal, if there are zero or there is zero, ignore it. Since after decimal there is zero, we usually do not show that. What happened? 500 gram. Oh, that means 0 0.5 kg is 500 gram. 0 0.5 kg is 500 gram. I change into gram. Okay? Okay, now. Now you look here. Now, how will you get this 500 gram that is you need to think by yourself? Let's take 10 and see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Fifty, you got fifty gram, not five hundred gram. Wrong. So ten, ten is wrong. Let's take um, twenty and see. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred. Still, we are not getting five hundred. Twenty also wrong. Let's take fifty and check. Gram, five hundred gram. It's already there. Okay. So 400, 500, what? 600 gram, this is 700 gram, 800 gram, 900, after 900, 1000. Can you see that? 1 kg equals to 1000 gram. Great. After 1000, 1100 gram, 1,200 gram, 1,300 
gram, 1,400 gram, 1,500 gram, 1,600 gram, 1,700 gram, and 1,800 gram, 1,900 gram. Okay? It is not necessary to write all this in your answer, but this is the explanations. To understand this, you can solve all the text questions. That's question number one. Is that okay? Okay, now. Now, suppose something is put there. You can see something here in the textbook. And suppose, like, for example, I'll put my mobile here, and it shows error of something here. So what is the mass of my mobile phone? Can you see that? 400 gram. The mass of my mobile phone is 400 gram. Is that okay? Now if something is put here and the indicator is here. Now what is the mass of that things? 1400 gram. Understood? Now you look in your textbook. I'm sure love to do it very easily. I want you to try question number one by yourself. Is that clear? It's very simple. I'll clear the doubt of this. Question number five. C O N B E R T convert nine kg into gram. This is your question. Now you have to convert nine kg into gram. So you do in this way solution. Okay? 9 kg is going to convert into gram. Now, before that, 9 kg, 9, 9 you will first write. Now you don't know if you will multiply or you will divide. Who is going to help you? My car draws me that's the spell it going on. Okay, bring it. Come on, say, my car draws me that's hospital at Kohima. This G is there. Do not forget to write G in M place. You see there? You will know. You can do it in very fast way. Two, three times if you practice, it just happen. When it comes down, always divide. When it goes up, always multiply. Done? Now, KG is going to become gram. First, you have to check the question. Kg is going to become gram. Search where is kg. It's here. Now this kg is going to become gram. It's here. To become gram, I have to go up. Then only I will reach a gram place. If I go down, I get nothing. Right? So when it goes up, what do you know about it? You need to multiply. That is the reason multiply sign came here. No divide. Done? Now. We are talking about kg and gram. Observe only that two units kg and gram and cover the kg. This first one. Always, you cover it until gram. How many zeros are there? Count. One, two, three. You got gram. One, two, three. Now these become gram. Okay. 10 tens are 100, 100 tens are 1000. That is the one. But the easy way of taking this count the 0, 1, 2, 3. 3, 0. Okay? Now, I told you the easy way of multiplying. Think there is. Think there are no zero. Then what is that? 9 times 1. 9 times 1 is 9. There was 0. How many zero? 3. Put that three zero here. And don't forget to bring this gram. Nine kg means nine hundred gram. Understood? Convert seven thousand gram into kg. Solution. Bring seven thousand here. 9 I wrote here, why not, sorry, 7,000. I wrote 9 here, so that I will write 7,000 also here. Very good with me. 
nothing in the end. It's just nine I wrote here. Same. Whatever number is there, I have to write. Now, I don't know whether I will multiply or divide. It's going to help me. My card drops me. I rub just now. Just to make you understand, I will write again. My card drop B dash hospital leg Kuhima. Done? G. So, G, 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 M plus G. G, G, G. Cat, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So, this comes out, divide, goes up, multiply. Done? Okay. Now, look at the question. Gram is going to become kg. Gram is going to become kg. Where is gram? Hmm. This gram is going to become kg. To become kg, I have to go down. Then only I will get kg. Going down. Going down means divide. Now I'm going to divide. Why? How much? Cover the gram always. Always this first one you have to cover. I told you. Cover the gram until kg. How many zeros are there? One, two, three zeros. If I divide by 3 zero, that means if I divide by 1000, this will become kg now. Agree? Now in this case, upside, downside, say numerator, denominator. Numerator 1 zero, denominator 1 zero, I can cancel. Numerator 1 zero, denominator 1 zero, I can cancel. Numerator 1 zero, denominator 1 zero, I can cancel. And my work is done. It's equal. Upside, we lack by only. 7. Downside we left by 1 which we never saw. Denominator 1 we never saw, remember children. This example like a say a roll number. What is a roll number? Mm, the roll number is this example like a 23. The roll number is 23. Actually your roll number is 23 by 1. 1 is there. Do you ever saw 1? No. We just had 23. 1 we never saw. Every number has one in its denominator. Your class? Four. Actually, your class is this. Four by one. But we never saw one. So why should we show here? Is that clear? Okay. So in my next, uh, just children, in my next video, I would like to complete or continue is there, little bit continue, plus another topic I'll bring that is telling the time, after that area, perimeter will cover in my next video. So I would like to stop here, thank you for staying with me and stay home and stay safe. Thank you so much children, bye.